This is Boughton Park. It is owned by three towns, Victor, East Bloomfield, and West Bloomfield. Today we're going to do, be doing a hike. We're going to start out on the Blue Trail, come around to the Red Trail, and back to the parking lot. So <clears throat> this is the parking lot on the Boughton Road. It is limited to only residents of Victor, East Bloomfield, and West Bloomfield. From this <clears throat> main entrance, you can go to the right, follow the Red Trail. That's our Seneca Trail. But we're going to go to the left on the Blue Trail. We're crossing a access road. That is a locked gate. Following the blue trail. There's the entrance to the yellow trail. That follows the east side of the West Pond. A little bit of a downward hill here. And then we'll go up and down. The uh, park does have a lot of up and down. Nothing very difficult, nothing very long, but just little up and down hills. Just a nice walk here with a sharp bend to the left. Now we have some stairs. And an elevated boardwalk. This is the south end of the West Pond. There is some beaver activity here, hence the little pond. Now we're going to take the white trail, just a little loop trail off of the blue. Nice wooded area. It's about a half a mile long. Weeds in and out, up and down some hills. At this point, we're almost out to Sterney Road. You can see the road straight ahead. The car just went by. Coming up to a little boardwalk. What's up with that? I have no idea. <laughs> Still on the white trail, heading back towards the blue trail and the west pond. A little bit of uh, history note. The Fountain Park used to be owned by the village of Fairport. They purchased this property back in the 1920s when they were looking for a source for drinking water for the village. They took the two streams that were going through the property, which prior to that was farmland, and they created two dams to create two ponds and at one time they were getting approximately 1.1 million gallons of water for the village. In the late 1980s the village of Fairport 
switched over to Monroe County Water Authority because the ponds couldn't supply enough water for the village. So at that time, they put this property up for sale in the towns of Victor, East Bloomfield, and West Bloomfield purchased the property with the intent of making it a park for their residents. This is the end of the White Trail. This is the West Pond. So now we are back on the Blue Trail. This is one of several bridges that go across several ravines. Now we're on another elevated boardwalk. Heading up a hill. This is a newer section of the Blue Trail. We went uh, up a little higher to get out of the mud, which uh, tends to happen in the low areas. If you follow the trail off to the right, it goes out to a point. But then you have to come right back to here to continue on with the Blue Trail. There's a nice view of the West Pond. If you qualify, you can have your canoe or kayak here. And then there's a nice launch right here. The launch can be used by anyone. The uh, ideal thing is to park in the Sterney Road parking lot just up the hill and then uh, launch your canoe or kayak. Here's one of several Eagle Scout projects. This one is uh, for books, so it's a, a mini library. And uh, the lodge here was built by the Bloomfield Lions Club, it's used for picnics, and I've even seen a wedding here. Parking lot. And like the Boughton Road parking lot, it has two entrances. You can use either one. A typical bulletin board is one at each entrance. So from the Sterney Road parking lot, this is the Blue Trail heading east. We're going to be coming to the connection to both the East Pond and the West Pond. Here the trail is at the northern property line. So you see off to my left some farmland that is farmed. Throughout the park you'll see benches. Many of them were made as Eagle Scout projects. Before you get to the dams, there is an orange trail off to my left. That goes along the northern property line. Now we're coming out to the west pond at the dam. So you get a view looking to the south. coming to the overflow of the West Pond and a bridge built to get us over the pond. This is the land between the ponds and this building off to my right is a storage building for canoes 
that the high schools use for their activities. Finished the blue trail and we're picking up the red trail which is the Seneca Trail for Victor Hiking Trails and we are crossing the dam of the East Pond. This is another bridge going over the spillway identical to the bridge on the West Pond. So we're on the Red Trail. This is also known as the East Pond Trail. And here we get a glimpse of the East Pond. One of the features of the East Pond Trail is a lot of up and down hills. There's a lot of pine trees in here that were planted back in the 1930s that are reaching the end of their life. They're coming down. You see a lot of them already down. And they're being replaced by hardwoods. Here are some still photos of the trail. David Coleman's Memorial Bench The view from David's Bench This is the parking lot, so we made a hike around the two ponds, and it was uh, about three and a half to four miles, and it took us about two hours. We hope you enjoyed this video. There are several other trails in the park similar to these. Total trail mileage is about five and one half miles. Give us a like and subscribe to the Victor Hiking Trails channel to view more trails.